In this video, I'll show you how to get any icons for your React project and we'll do that with React icons. Hi everyone, welcome back to Web Dev Dev Dev, here to make you a tad bit better in web development. If you want to improve your web dev game, then consider subscribing to the channel right now. So in your browser, search for React icons, click on the first link and your website should look something like this. To install it, simply copy this line of code from here. Then either go to the command line or go to your VS code and press Ctrl tilde. That's the button next to the one. And then paste that line of code right here. And hit enter. To use it, you import an icon from an icon pack. Then call it as a HTML tag. So just click on an icon pack you like. I like feather, then copy this line of code, paste it at the top like this. Then if you want to copy any icon, just click on it to copy that icon. Then back here, replace this icon name with that name and then call that icon as an HTML tag. Now let me run this program. And here you have your icon. For styling, you can give it height, width, foreground as well as background color, but things like padding and margin might give you a problem. For example, let's make this icon's height and width as 40. So I'll just go here, write class name and height as 40, which is 10 and width as 40. 40, which is again 10. By the way, I am using Telvin CSS and will be making a in-depth video in it in a few weeks. So consider subscribing to not miss that content. So if I save this, go back, as you can see, it's a bit bigger. As well as, as I said, we can add foreground as well as background color. So background, let me give it a primary, which is my yellow color. This is that background. And let's say I want to make this black. I'll give it a text which means content text and give it a color of heading text and there you have it now if i try adding a padding let's say i want to add a padding of 16 pixel which is p4 something like this will happen so instead of doing it like this put this icon inside a div and in that div put things like padding as well as foreground and background color so i'm just going to copy this and put it in that div So after doing something like this, once I hit save, it looks much more better. Now to add multiple icons, just click on the icons you like. Then put a comma here and paste that icon and you can call it exactly like you called this icon. And there you have it. So here for demonstration, I'm going to pick like five more icons, four from Feather and one from another icon pack. Then let's pick another icon bag. Let's say Bootstrap. And I'm just going to copy this from Bootstrap. First of all, I have to copy this. Then put it in my project. And then let's say I just copy this. Replace my icon name with this. So with that done, I'll just make three more duplicates of this. Two, three. Save then. I will replace the fourth one with this and the fifth one with this. Once we hit save, let's go see how it looks. And it looks like this. So I have not changed anything in the middle one. The reason why is I'm going to change it with this icon. And after we've done that, it looks something like this. And there you have it. You can pick 
any icon from any icon pack like with this and any icon just by clicking on these. Now you saw many benefits of having React icon but a one con, one drawback of having React icon and I feel like it's only a drawback for me maybe but the drawback is all of these icons as well as all of these icon packs and their icons are already in your project meaning react icons basically brings all of these icons inside your project let me show you so if you go to your node module and in here press ctrl f write react icons you can go to the react icons folder and you'll see all of it these are all different icon packs the fi fi1 is our uh, fi see feather icon and inside that you will find your all of your feather icons now the drawback is that we it, there are so many icon packs that you will not be using even in one icon pack you're gonna only use like in total 20 icons right so this is a lot of line of code that is going wasted might hinder your performance of your website so I would recommend after you have done using all your icons, just go to the React icons and at the top you'll see project. Click on here. By the way, let's do it with Feather. Click on here. It will take you to their website from which you can download individual icons and use it in your project. Might save you a lot of space as well as processing power. So that is the only con. Otherwise, this is a really beautiful project really easy to use really helpful so that said thank you for watching i hope you like the video smash the like button hit subscribe and see you in the next video have a wonderful day bye, -bye.